Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now in this video, I'm going to be showing you the various shortcuts that I personally use in my daily SketchUp workflow. So the number one shortcut that you need to learn is the hide rest of the model shortcut. So we're going to assign the shortcuts first, and then I'm going to show what each of these shortcuts do. So let's go to windows and go to preferences, click on shortcuts. And the first one you're going to assign is called hide rest of the model. Type in hide. And when you go to the bottom, you'll find this view slash component edit slash hide rest of the model. So I've given a shortcut called J. If you want to assign a shortcut, simply click here, press J on your keyboard and click the plus button. I've already assigned. So this is why this dialog box is showing up. I'm going to press yes. Now the next shortcut is edit slash hide. So I've assigned F2 for edit slash hide. Unhide all, which is F4 on your keyboard. Unhide last is F3. So three shortcuts here and then hide rest of the model. Now the other shortcut which I'm going to use is something called X-ray mode. So I've assigned the shortcut Y for this. You can simply click here, press Y on your keyboard and press the plus button. So apart from these, I also use the camera slash parallel projection shortcut, which is Alt W and the front view, which is Alt F and finally the top view, which is Alt plus T. You need to press Alt T and then it will show up here and make sure to click on plus. So once you've added all of your shortcuts, in case you want to use it in the future, you can export these shortcuts out. It's called a SketchUp data file and then you can re-import it in other systems or in future versions. So once you're done with this, press OK. So let's start with the first shortcut, which is hide rest of the model. Now, for example, if I want to edit a group here, and I want to edit the edge face or this face, the face here, right? You need to press J on your keyboard. So what that does is it hides the rest of the model and it only shows the group which is active, as you can see with this bounding box. So now if I make something here, maybe a rectangle, or something like this, an abstract shape. And if I press escape, you can see that I've added it to the side face of this group. So it helps when you have a lot of groups inside your model and you need to edit a specific model or group. Now, if I enter this group and press J, I can't really edit that side face. So this helps in hiding the rest of the model. It simply toggles between the main model and the group which is active. So you can start using the J tool as well, hide rest of the model tool. And next, which I can use is something called the X-ray mode. Sometimes in SketchUp, it's difficult to select certain faces and edges. So we use the X-ray mode. So if I press Y on my keyboard, you can see it's a wireframe mode. And now you can see the back part of the faces as well. So now you can enter the group and you can also select the back part faces and the below face or whatever it is. It helps when you're trying to move stuff decorating your room and if there are too many things in your space then it would be difficult to move stuff so use the x-ray mode to see things which are inside your model all these shortcuts would make more sense once we start modeling our room the next shortcut is hide and unhide so if i want to hide this and edit it later i can press f2 so it's hidden and if you want to see what is hidden in your model you can go to view and click on hidden objects so you can see that this mesh means that this model is hidden. I'm going to not show the hidden objects. And if I want to unhide using the keyboard shortcut, the last object which I hid was this box. So I can press F3 to unhide the last object. And if I hide a lot of stuff and I want to show all the objects which I've hidden, you can press F4. So that would unhide all of your items. So these are the main shortcuts that I personally use. And apart from that, like I mentioned in the previous few videos, if you want to go to your plan view, the best way is by going to your parallel projection and then which is Alt W and top view, which is Alt T. And you can also switch between perspective and parallel projection in the top view as well. There's also the front view. So this helps in modeling faster. This workflow is generally used in 3ds Max, but in 3ds Max, you generally have four windows, whereas in SketchUp, you can only work with one viewport. So I hope you found this video useful.